There was one girl in class, Eliza, who simply mesmerized him. She wasn't necessarily the hottest girl or the one with the biggest boobs or the prettiest smile. She wasn't nearly as flashy as some of the other women he went to school with, but something about her, from her old-fashioned name to the things she wore, little cardigans decorated with flowers or sparkly bits that always caught the sun, to the way she held her pen, her fingers resting atop its length as opposed to wrapped around it like everyone else. Yes, he'd noticed even that. Made him want to talk to her. Okay, truth be told, he wanted to do much more than simply talk. He wanted to kiss her all over, taste every inch of her beautiful skin. Most of all, he wanted to lick her pussy until she screamed, until she came all over him, until she went absolutely, completely, totally wild, until she told him she'd never been with anyone who could make her climax so hard, until she begged him to do it again. That's what Rick thought about as Professor Vanderbilt wrote on the board and walked them through hypothetical problems they'd encounter running their own company. The only business he wanted to start or be part of was one that taught guys how to really eat pussy. Even thinking of those words, eat and pussy, gave him an instant heart on. Rick shifted in his seat as his eyes swept along Eliza's back, hunched over as she doodled in her notebook. He looked out with a seat near hers, but across the aisle so that he was free to observe her unnoticed. It wasn't that he hadn't been with girls before. Even in his sleepy small town, there had been plenty of opportunities for sex. Marcha had made him a man, as his best friend Kyle would say, one day in a pile of leaves in a deserted park on their way home from school. Sex with her had been fun, but he'd been so nervous he could barely enjoy it. She'd let him fuck her, but had balked when he'd asked her to spread her legs for him so he could taste her. Apparently in his town, nice girls didn't do that, even when they were asked by sweet boys who just offered up their virginity. His only other experience with a mouthful of girl parts was with Katie, who'd pressed his face against her sex and ground herself into him through the thin layer of her panties. He'd been able to taste her unique flavor through the cotton, but it had been so brief, just a tease. He'd wanted her to relax, let him savor the experience, and gently peel down her undies to reveal the treasure beneath. But she'd been so demanding, pressing and slamming and shoving against his eager to please tongue that he didn't know how to tell her to slow down, nor did he ask her to remove the flimsy but still pesky panty barrier. Before he knew it, she was dragging him up by his hair, kissing his lips, pushing her wet panties aside, and guiding his cock inside her. Rick had come to Berkeley ready to find a girl who'd want him for more than just momentary pleasures, though the idea made him nervous. A real girlfriend would expect more from him than a cursory lick and pinch of her clip. She'd want him to get down there and stay until he could prove he knew what he was doing. And even more than wanting the rapture of seeing a, pretty, a girl's pretty lips wrapped around his dick like he'd seen in the porn movies that his sweet mates frequently watched on their communal TV, he wanted to make a girl come with just his lips and tongue. He wanted to feel her wetness rubbing against him, taste her juices, hear her moans. As it turns out, Eliza was the one who approached him that very day in economics class. She stood in front of his desk as he gathered up his belongings, giving him a start when he realized that the girl of his dirty dreams was right in front of him. Hi, Rick, right? she asked, then licked her lips, fidgeting from one side to the other. Her hair, held back by barrettes with butterflies on them, stayed in place, but he noticed a slight bounce to her breast. I wanted to see if you'd like to be study partners. Vanderbilt suggested to me during office hours that I find someone and, well, I thought you might need some help in here too. She looked at him with wide, hopeful eyes, eager for his approval. He stared back, trying to see if she meant more than simply mastering means and medians and stock market prices. He wasn't sure, but his dick seemed to answer for him. All right, I, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> Hello, Kitty is distracting me. Um, okay, I'm gonna skip to the end, but don't, don't let that stop you from buying this book and reading the whole story. As Eliza lay on her back, Rick dove in. At first, he barely tasted a thing because he was moving so fast. It was as if he was swimming, kicking his legs slightly in time to his mouth actions, while his fingers laid her open, trying to make up for lost lessons, 
crammed semesters into minutes as he sought her sweet spots. She didn't sit up and lecture him, pointing to where their bodies joined to demonstrate what she wanted. No, instead, Eliza, ever the English major, showed but didn't tell. She gently lifted her hips when she wanted Rick to move lower and held open her hood when she wanted him to attack her clit. When he was doing something right, she yelled and moaned and banged her fists on the bed, a powerful signal. Eliza moved her hips in circles at one point, and he got it, moving his tongue in corresponding circles in the other direction. And somewhere along the way, Rick did indeed become the coxman and the tonguesman of his biggest fantasies. He earned an A-plus in attention to pussy detail as he licked his wide, long, warm, soft, strong tongue from the very base of Eliza's slit all the way on up, then curled it into a point and teased her clit until she groaned. He ran his fingers all over her skin, up and down her legs, then pinching along her inner thighs, all the while getting the entire lower half of his face smeared with her juices. When his tongue was completely buried inside her, his nose smashed up against her. He reached up to pinch those pretty little nipples he'd seen straining against the thin bras and tank tops she kept them wrapped up in during class. He even added a finger inside her, wriggling it alongside his buried tongue. He was a natural, and his learning curve was short and fun to ride. When she finally managed to push his head aside, they were both overwhelmed by what had passed between them. By then, he didn't even want to fuck her, but preferred to wait, wrapping her fingers around his cock for a few quick pumps before coming in a geyser of hot semen. Eliza fell asleep soon, and Rick just looked at her naked body in repose, so lush and gorgeous, so much more than he ever could have hoped for in class. Weeks later, again feeling bored in Professor Vanderbilt's class, he took a moment to think about Eliza's beloved pussy, the one he now got to taste every single day, often several times. No matter how his official report card turned out, he'd mastered the most important lesson of all. But that didn't mean he'd stop trying to learn. Far from it, Rick thought, as he patted the small egg vibrator tucked in his pocket. He planned to surprise Eliza with it while he licked her to ecstasy later that night and could practically feel the vibrations ripping through her already and hear her moans of bliss. Letting the professor's words travel over him, he stared at Eliza's back, thought of her tasty cunt, and looked forward to earning his extra credit in Cunnilingus 101.